Right now at 5.30, a new bike lane in West Roxbury is causing confusion, even chaos for drivers and cyclists. This new installation was intended to improve safety and ease the flow of traffic. But as WBC's Laura Hayfley reports, residents in the area are really concerned about potential new dangers on the road. The bustling Boston neighborhood of West Roxbury is lined with businesses, bars, and most recently, bike lanes, a project years in the making. I kept telling you, Marilyn, Marilyn, you know, I love you. In 2019, Al Wentworth's wife, Marilyn, was killed crossing Center Street for coffee. The sad thing is that it's so preventable. After countless community meetings, the city has reconstructed the busy street, removing traffic lanes, adding bike lanes, with safety top of mind. But local businesses are questioning the construction. Will less parking be bad for business? They did push the parking a little bit out, which took out one of the lanes. The city of Boston tells me despite reducing car travel lanes from four to three, West Roxbury has still been able to retain 95% of its street parking. The city of Boston is calling the Center Street redesign a safety project designed to disrupt chronic speeding and the pattern of fatalities and serious injury crashes on this street. Everybody wants safety on Center Street. West Roxbury Safety Association member Jim Hennigan says the project's approval was a split decision. The community concerned the new bike lanes won't be used and traffic will overflow, causing additional collisions and confusion. You don't see that many bikes. There's a lot of traffic on the side street. How we're going to prevent them from going off in the neighborhoods and because they may be in a hurry traveling too fast. West Roxbury native Mary Neal agrees. It really has caused a lot of confusion in terms of how people ride down the street and get in the right lanes and then you have trucks over here that are parked, you have to go around them. Despite the uncertainty, the project is nearly complete. The city tells WBZ the areas will be closely monitored as the community gets used to the new configuration and traffic signals are updated. In Boston, Laura Hayfleet, WBZ News.